And members of the Lubbock County Medical Society asking the board to recommend universal masking in schools regardless of vaccination. The group estimates that Lubbock schools will have 50 COVID cases that will need hospitalization during the first 30 days of school and 17 cases where children will need uh, care in a pediatric intensive care unit. Oh. Our expert, uh, Dr. Samir Islam, is the chair of the County Medical Society, is with us again tonight. It's good to talk to you. Uh, Dr. Islam, talk to us a bit more about the need to write this letter and how it was received, you think, by the school board. Well, I think you kind of hit it on the nail, nail in the coffin. We're really worried about the rate of not only hospitalizations, but kids actually having to be in the ICU and whether we can actually have the capabilities to take care of them or not. And Dr. Islam, with hospitals already seeing an increase, break down the numbers that you presented to the school board today. So if we look at some of the models that are predicting here in Lubbock County, what we're seeing in the next 60 days is roughly 126 kids will be hospitalized with COVID. Now the issue is that about 42 of them may or will need ICU care. We only have 35 intensive care beds in both Covenant and UMC combined. And so in essence, we don't have enough ICU beds to, 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 to take care of these kids. The other concern is this is only just for Lubbock ISD. It doesn't include Cooper or Friendship. And so that number is bound to go up higher and higher. Doc, a lot of folks are at home and they're hearing this and they're saying, I, I, I thought young people weren't really affected very much by this. Why is this Delta variant suddenly so different for them? Well, we know last year, whenever we had the COVID pandemic, it was mainly just adults and pediatric kids or kids in general were not being affected. This is a completely different strain that we're seeing right now. And we don't quite understand why it's affecting more and more kids, but not only are kids getting affected, they're getting sicker and having to be in the hospital and, and even the intensive care unit. So our main concern is, do we have enough care to manage our children who may be hospitalized and who need more intensive support? And as a parent, that's just the scariest thing sure. to hear. So in this situation where there is no room in the hospital ICUs, what happens to people who are needing the care? That is a very, very good question. Actually, frankly, a scary question, because right now we are accepting patients from other areas around the county to come to Lubbock to get their care here. There's going to be a point in time where we cannot accept those patients because we don't have the beds available. And we get, when we get to a point in time when we actually don't have enough ICU beds, I'll be honest with you, I don't know what is going to happen and what we're going to do. Goodness. Hmm. Medical society, I know, also requested to have vaccination clinics in the schools. Uh, what was the response to that? So, so far, this has not been an action item that's been taken up by the school board. So we just don't know at this point in time. Okay, and this vaccine for now available for children who are 12 and older. So have there been any serious side effects or reasons for them not to be vaccinated that you know of? Like anything in life and anything in medicine, there are some side effects and there have been side effects that have been shown with this vaccine. I will tell you those side effects are very small, very minimal, and by far they should not be a reason why you could not or should not get the vaccine for your children. So even though the risks are very small, don't let that scare anybody from getting the vaccine for their children for COVID-19. Very good. Dr. Samir Islam, thank you as always for uh, shedding some light on all, everything that's going on here.